in our journey towards ecological restoration, resilience enhancement, and sustainable development. Planting a tree should be the most urgent task for each one of us today and every other day. Planting trees has to be the project of the highest importance every day throughout the rainy season and for the rest of our lives. To change the world today, plant a tree, then do it again and again and again. There is no need to stop because there will never be a time in our life when trees do not make sense or matter. Again, there will be no reason to stop because the government of Kenya has launched a program to distribute 1,000 tons of seedlings of seeds to 18 seed centers established by the Kenya Forest Research Institute throughout the country. The centers will produce 15 billion seedlings between now and the year 2032. The seedlings will be grown on 10.6 million hectares of degraded forest and rangelands. This will take our total national tree cover beyond 30%, surpassing all our present obligations and placing us firmly on course to restoring ecological integrity. Today, therefore, I am here to rally the entire government, both national and county, our communities, the private sector, our development partners, philanthropies, non-governmental organizations, educational and religious institutions to mobilize the people of Kenya to participate in this noble endeavor. The Kenya Forest Research Institute, Kenya Forest Service, and Kenya Wildlife Service will be spearheading this program. The Ministry of Environment and Forestry shall provide robust coordination that will optimally engage all actors and make this a reality. I appreciate our partners for their support and urge them to work with us by providing financial, technical, and technological resources for this program. As we scale up activities, we shall look to you to come through in a big way. Together with the United Nations Development Program and other UN agencies, we have established the Tree Growing Fund to pool all resources mobilized for this program. I look forward to commitments being made by our private sector, individuals, business people, our development partners towards this Tree Growing Fund to provide the resources for us to implement this global initiative of making sure that we have a better world to live in. The Special Presidential Program on the Accelerated Restoration of Forests and Rangelands also provides opportunities for the participation of youth and women in the tree growing campaigns. Over the next 10 years, 320,000 direct jobs will be created in seedling production, tree planting and maintenance, thinning and pruning, maintenance of forest roads and fire breaks, community scouts, forest rangers, and foresters. I encourage you to join this movement for a green Kenya. I have already uh, worked with the governor of Nairobi to make sure that we hire at least 10,000 young people to green the city of Nairobi. I am looking forward to working with all the other county governments so that we have a Green League Army that is not only going to help us in the tree planting efforts, but more importantly, in the tree growing endeavor, so that we not only plant, but we actually see these trees to maturity, so that we can protect our earth. And while I am talking about young people who will help us work with this, um, we have lessons to learn. I was uh, from the World Cup. You know, I, uh, on the heat of the moment, I, I placed a bet. Uh, 